some trans women come to my inbox all the time on Facebook and they ask me, you know, they're starting their transition. What do they do and everything? I simply say, for me personally, I've, I haven't had any surgeries done. This is all hormones. So, <laughs> yeah, but I'm fat. Um, so, <laughs> um, I also feel like we're not transitioning to try not to get clocked. We're transitioning to live our life. And I, I mean, it's easy for me to say that, but my personal goal was to be as passable as possible. And <clears throat> I hate to say it, but I've missed a big part of my transition just by focusing on that. So, you know, if I had to give advice to another trans woman, I'd easily sit and say, don't think about what other people say or do or whatever. Just take your hormones, live as healthy, and try to live as, as happy as possible. And it's easy for me to say that. But, you know, because I didn't even follow my own advice on that. Let me tell you what I did when I transitioned. <clears throat> I had a lot of muscle in my arms and everything. I felt like my body and my face was hard. So I stayed away from exercising and I took an excess amount of hormones. And it, it has been very, very hard on my body because I can't even run from here to that stair because it's very hard on me. It makes it to where I'm very tired and I feel like I'm about to pass out because I just ran. <laughs> so what I did was I didn't exercise. I didn't run or anything. I just ate all the most unhealthy foods because I wanted that Beyonce body. You know, she's soft and she's curvy and every still ain't got that. But she's soft and she's curvy and everything. I just wanted to be soft. So, you know, I kind of rushed my transition by taking an excess amount of hormones and eating all these unhealthy foods and not exercising because I felt like if I exercise, my muscle would never go anywhere. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? But you know that it's stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm.